All right, and now the audio for which I promised you I'm going to play you. In fact, this is an audio that got my mother in trouble. Uh, the idea about what I'm about to play you was to screw me up. Uh, police, state, state prosecutors, Slovenian police, Slovenian state prosecutors, who monitored this house, video surveillance this house, eavesdrop this house, got a wrong idea about me in 2013 together with my mother, with my mama. Uh, in fact, they believed that the proof that I could use against police, Slovenian police and the family in fact, this was in 2012, and it might be one of the reasons why they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital. Could in fact be used even against me. In other words, I'm going to repeat to you the stuff they have done to me, which is a blatant evidence of assassination attempt. Uh, Slovenian state prosecutors, Slovenian police attempted with my family to use against me. How would that be possible? First thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you an audio that you're going to hear exactly what exactly I'm talking about. Uh, first thing is first. On the video below, you could see the time. Um, I don't know what was it around like 1400 hours in afternoon actually between 13 and 1400 hours when I returned to do the second video recording but the original video recording I did already at 8 o'clock in the morning when I took my mother to the father let me demonstrate you this that would be this stuff here yeah I appeared Yeah, this is basically the house where I am from here in the city in the Novo Mesto. So, okay, you can see in the morning at 08, 08, I was already at this house and I was going to do the video. However, there were the mistakes I have stated and I decided to do this video to improve the quality of the video and do this thing again. So what exactly is was in it for the Slovenian police, for the Slovenian state prosecutors who video and audio surveillance this house 24 7 and they still do make no mistake what was in it is a proof of my being pushed down from a scarp actually from the garage which was higher maybe i don't know uh at least 20 centimeters uh, and uh, for my being pushed down at age something over two years of age, uh, my mother and Slovenian police, Slovenian state prosecutor came to agreement in 2012, actually, before they threw me inside the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. They came to agreement that I should be rated as insane because I did not even understood the importance of assassination, of blatant assassination attempt which took place at my age, two years of age and three months at this location right here when my sister in fact was the one who pushed me uh, down straight on my head uh, my uh, sister is senior about eight years senior to me she is older uh, than myself and uh, she did go ahead and out of pure maliciousness evil push me down on my head so that I smashed with my head down on the on the pavement. 
Um, I did describe in details exactly what happened. Uh, this is the incident that people involved in MKUltra have demanded from me to report about. Um, but in 2012, I asked my mother who was the one that was pushed, uh, who was the one who fell down. I didn't say that I was pushed. I said, who was the one who fell down from the, uh, from the garage, from the scarf uh, on his head? Who was the one? The thing is that if I would say to my mother in 2012 that my sister pushed me, uh, <laughs> I don't think I would be alive today to tell you the stuff I did. Uh, but Slovenian police, Slovenian state prosecutors, in fact, came up with a brilliant idea. Uh, the idea was that with video surveillance, with audio surveillance, which they obtained through an incident I had with my mother in 2012, when I asked her who, was it my sister or myself, that fell down? Uh, if I would know exactly what I'm even talking about right now, uh, and would go right there and video record about this stuff, uh, these people could easily say, look, in 2012, whatever, uh, he was asking a mama about whether he fell down or the sister uh, to, I, to, to intensify the abuse, uh, the certainty that through the terror that I would not even dare to report on this issue, it was my mama who followed up with the police against me the very second, very third day in 2012. Uh, stating to me that they are not going to work with mentally retarded people like this. They are not soft on mentally retarded people like this. They really didn't know that I'm mentally retarded. Accent was on my being mentally retarded. Uh, and for what I should be even actually wasted were her words to me in 2012 maybe six months before they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital with the idea to finish me off completely. So, um, here is what my mother had to say about it today. Uh, today, when I went, uh, at the first, uh, when I came there, I did a lot of mistakes. Uh, first, I suggested that garage was as, as high as scarp. Uh, then I suggested that the scarp was lower than the scarp that you see right there, where the red car is parked and stuff like this. So those were the evidence that police, Slovenian police and Slovenian state prosecutors who video recorded me, video surveillance against the law, this is a big brother house. There are cameras here rolling 24-7. is under surveillance, complete surveillance. Slovenian police is engaging here in extremely criminal behavior here. They have turned this into something else, this home. There is something else that's happening inside of this house. I wouldn't say this house is beyond what is cursed. Uh, I sure heard about exorcists. I heard about Big Brother. I heard about Big Brother House. I heard about, uh, before I said exorcism, I heard about all sorts of things, including people being possessed with the demons, uh, including People seeing ghosts, people seeing um, 
people having voices in their heads, people uh, seeing hunted houses is what I was going to say, hunted houses. Uh, well, I do not believe in any of that. I acknowledge people who complain about such issues as crackpots. I don't like this kind of talk. I don't want to be any kind of exorcist. I don't see myself anything like this. I'm not looking forward to any of that stuff. But from the following recording I'm about to play you, uh, if you would be potent in your house, and the house I am in right now is the second house, and the house that you see right there in front of you was the first house where I grew up in that house, and you would be tortured in your house, wherever they would have you, for like 47 years, uh, you would maybe be even under impression of house being hunted. House hunted, definitely in my case, was, and the one that you see right there, and the one here, which they accomplished through the sheer torture. Not because I would see any ghosts, but I recall the people, the, the stuff they planted, destroyed, vandalized, uh, promised they would do, uh, the elements of MK Ultra torture, which is constantly supported through a little reminders uh, through the person that is, is in sight. Uh, that is uh, just a matter of fact. Yeah. That is also as close as it comes to a hunted house element. Uh, <laughs> um, if you want, even hearing voices, I don't hear voices, but I can tell you exactly the choice of words. Uh, the police investigators have used in private. I can tell you the patterns, the way they use their brain, the, the, the way they think, uh, how their thinking patterns work. Uh, therefore, in other words, what behaviorist, you know, behavior, behaviorist would do, I can do that kind of stuff. I can even tell you what the private environment looks like. Uh, those kind of issues, yes, I can do. So this isn't about exorcism. I am not really interested, as I stated, in any kind of exorcism. I don't, I'm not into that kind of stuff. I'm into law. I'm into legal stuff. Um, and all the other stuff that I stated. Um, what I'm going to do at this point in time to seal the deal, because mother was so good that I made an impression for uh, state prosecutors, uh, for Slovenian police, like I don't fucking know what I'm talking about, and they really triggered that other plan. As I stated, the ladies inside of the house stated me they will be video recording me, I will be on camera, and everything will be at the CCTV, straight to the police. They told me they don't have any cameras here, but I do not believe this. That's one thing. Because uh, I did ask them during MK Ultra if they have cameras, and they stated me they don't have cameras. But they told me that people have a smartphones. And uh, in between all this shit, uh, since Drago Dobravitz also worked here, and Drago Dobravitz with his brother, uh, Rok Dobravitz were one of the most involved people in MK Ultra. They spent many, many years inside of this house, next to police and outside of the house. Uh, you're talking about people involved 
in this case for like 30 years more more than 30 years um you do understand he worked in here yeah he worked for this association of people private this became privatized this house father saw this and they privatized uh, actually privatized it became a public property where they would have different companies inside and you know, one of the companies also was uh, or maybe it's private i don't know what they have done with it uh, also was association of uh, employers of private employers that was based inside and this is where drago dobrovitz also worked this guy was all about spy cameras police that kind of stuff um so what had appeared to be a promising a good news at eight or something after eight o'clock in the morning today on october the 18th 2023 in fact have turned into a fucking nightmare for the slovenian judicial system for slovenian parliament it turned out into most severe beating into the proof i obtained about my attempt my being even assassinated at age two years of age and three months uh, as i returned back from here my mother blatantly stated me exactly what i'm about to translate you as next let's go to the audio recording and make sure that this is turned on and i'm going to play you an audio recording yeah so this here that you see here, this is one of the audio recordings, and we're going to refer to the one as 2255. Um, it was so beautiful that this is the main part here. Before I approached my mother, we had a very productive conversation. I told her all about the neoprene socks, which, of course, she knew all about it. What is interesting, anything that was involved and used in MKUltra is used against me. Um, for instance, um, for whatever subject I approached to my mother, she acts like a police interrogator uh she never gives any kind of feedback uh, the feedback she gives is contrary to mk ultra to her unknown and she would only give everything whatever i would state it to her she would rebuff me she would immediately give a negative feedback or even use the feedback to humiliate to insult um today however we had somewhat productive conversation about it, you know this is the stuff that aunt minka tutored my mother already i tell you what since i know this was the school that she provided for my sister for my mother and so on seems like she knew a lot of stuff about these things and she claimed she alone claimed she did um don't worry about it. This was, uh, these are the instructions from the psychiatrist, Peter Kops, from the Novel Mesto Police Department, and so on. Uh, mother basically repeating toe to toe absolutely everything, uh, whatever went on through MK Ultra to trigger whatever they want to trigger, at least try to trigger uh and that's about that's all there is to it uh, so after this productive rather productive conversation about the neoprene socks which you can folks use for the winter time walking to keep your feet warm uh, i approached my mother one more time and i asked her about uh, if you can just tell me uh, how old was I when I fell off the scarf? Um, and my mother did not hesitate to state me that I am not the one who fell off the scarf, but in fact, it was my sister who had fell off the scarf. And she makes the argument with a great, great certainty, like 
she demonstrates just how certain how sh certain she is sure she is about what she is talking about let's hear this stuff how that looks when you try to get something out of my mother what exactly happens then They didn't care, I'm so out of way. Uh, I told my mom, tell me one thing. How old was I? My mom says, what? And I said, how old was I when I fell off the scarf over there? Basically pointing at the city. You can see the rage, you can hear the rage, basically. It's like coming out of her gut, basically, like... I'm basically, she, through the talk, the way she talks, she presents me like a malicious liar. She says, like I insulted her right now, like I have done something God knows what the fuck I have done. She says, uh, you, ne you have never fallen of the scarf. It's like, sounds like I'm lying, you know? And then she goes on, you know, to confirm this, assure herself by saying, it was a biserka that have fallen down. You know? So she has a really, really good uh, acting actor she acting skills develop oh and i said to her just like i told her in 2012 here in 2012 before they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital i said to her oh so it was my sister who had biserka who had fallen down and she says yeah yeah yes. ah. and i said Ah, I said to her, ah, uh, looking at me, she, she, uh, she affirms, she assures me now, uh, uh, three, uh, uh, what? Hold on a moment, this is insane here, let's do it again. Uh, she was three years old, you know, do you understand? Uh, it was my sister, therefore who was three years old. I want you to understand this shit one more time. All right, let's do this stuff again. Uh, at least I was sure that she said that I was three years old at the time, but it was not like this. My, uh, my mother claims it was my sister who was three years old. Um, That also was the truth. Uh, that also was the truth because I can testify it's basically what I was told. I was told that it was since forever, I remember, uh, it was repeated to me time and again, time and again, time and again, time and again. Whenever somebody would come inside of the house, that it was the sister who had fallen down uh, from the garage. And when I consider uh, everybody, uh, all the people that were relatives, friends that were coming inside of the house, whom my mother assured time and again, over and over and over, right in front of me, that it was the sister who had fallen down on uh, the scarf from uh, the garage. Um, on the scarf, uh, from the scarf, from the garage, on the floor. Uh,
I could almost say I'm fucking insane. I would say that I am on a fucking roller fucking coaster. I would say I'm on a fucking roller coaster. On a fucking roller coaster. I'm not saying that it was not the sister that had incident of any kind. I do not know. They claimed me they have, in fact, even a medical proof about it. Uh, however, uh, I'm shocked that I would have my mother, my parents, including my sister, with my father, trying to undermine me in the most criminal, filthiest way possible with repeated statements like this over the years. It was like this, that when people would be coming, my mother would start to claim them in front of me that it was the sister uh, it was the sister, it was the sister who had fallen down. It was the sister who had fallen down. Um, so the important part here is, because I do not know, I don't have any kind of overview about uh, what happened to the sister. My sister is eight years older than I am. Uh, my sister... I wasn't around when she was three years old. Uh, I would absolutely not know whether she had some kind of incident, accident or whatever. Uh, but what you are about to hear next, not only what you have seen on the video, which in which I completely demonstrate advanced memory about exactly how it was built, where everything was, contrary to what police have anticipated would obtain at about 800 hours in the morning. You know, this is when was the time when I spoke to my mama and then I headed to the city to make the second video. And so they did not know that I'm coming back and at that time I'm going to actually do a second video, which is going to be everything. They didn't know about this shit. So my mom gives me, repeats me now, and she says, let's go. So it says she was three years old. And she says, yes, yes, she was three years old. Do you call the police? Now I stopped my mother after, well, that I was 22 years old, and now I will be 52 in December, after 50 years of lying almost. All right, let's say 49 years of lying, I stopped my mother right there, and I said, who pushed whom down the garage? Who pushed whom, I said to her. Who pushed whom, I said to, to my mother. Who pushed whom? when I was two years old, who pushed whom down from garage down, who pushed whom? Uh, I asked mother, I said, did Bisarka pushed me down? I said to my mom, I said, listen, how the hell you're telling me that nobody pushed nobody when I told my sister back then that I will kill her. Let me ratify about my stating to my sister that I will kill her at age two something. I did not even know what it means to kill the person at age two. Um, there were two things that you could do with a person. You can go and you can beat the person up or and you can go and you can kill the person uh, i never understood what is it to kill the person at all um i didn't get i did not understood anything about this stuff 
but it was guess who who rushed to my rescue it was the sister my sister that rushed to the rescue uh, my sister came and teach me what are you going to do with me uh, she pushed me down uh, and it was fucking bad that stuff was really really bad i was hurt more than anything i was hurt because she just did this so much older than myself and as i stated i did not know anything about stuff like this and she just went and she just did this out of fucking blue just just like this you do it to somebody and i didn't know what i would say what i would do to her so she decided she would help me out this is how good my sister was and she said, what are you going to do to me? What are you going to do to me? My sister prided herself. She was extremely proud that she was bigger than myself and stronger. And would demonstrate me repeatedly with hands like this, how she can twist me. And I was like, I, I was not strong like my sister when I was small. And she explained to me, one thing you can do uh, you can, you're going to beat me up. So you're going to beat me up. You can't beat me up. Look how small you are and this and that and so on. And then there is that second thing. I remember even the conversation I had with her. And I said, really? And I said, then what is that second thing? And she said, I think one time I already told you. And I said, what is it? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to tell you again. Uh, that means to kill somebody. Uh, so there are two choices. One is you're going to beat person up, hurt person physically. And the second one, you're going to kill. That's a bad one. She said that she referred to that one as a bad one. Uh, and, and as the worst one. So I said, I am going to pick as the worst one for you, for what you did to me. So he said, kill. Yes, that's exactly. I am going to kill you because of this. This is basically my sister what how it all operated how it all went along that's basically how it went it was she that put the stuff in my head in my mouth but let's continue i was with semi-broken school i had suffered a serious injury from what i know it happened so because my school was wrapped with the stuff uh, the first thing they did is they even put some kind of gypsum, something, some shit on my head. Uh, and then the second thing they did, they, they put me a wrapping or something like this. That stuff was very short with this gypsum. Um, whatever they did, that was a very, very short stuff. That did not last for too long. I think that stuff was like... I don't know. I don't know how how long that was. I forgot about that, all that stuff. That was like it, it wasn't that long. If it was, it might have been maybe even two weeks or something like that, if it was. And I don't think it was. Uh, but what followed next was a week or two weeks, something like this it was. Uh, I did not like that stuff. That stuff drove me crazy. The next thing, they wrap around my head uh, some kind of, uh, like, you would put a gaze and you would, you would roll that stuff around. Uh, that was maybe, that was obnoxious stuff. It was much better. But um, they play with me even when I eat the food and stuff like this. Uh, and with that stuff all around my head, loose, uh, I had even difficulty to eat the food. That stuff, that stuff was so stupid, this stuff they rolled around my head. I really looked like a mummy from Egypt, something like this, wrapped with that stuff around my head. 
Uh, I absolutely hated it. And no wonder it was the sister, again, who took advantage of it and uh, teased me with that stuff. Uh, insisted for me to, um, to get punished, basically, uh, for whatever, misbehaving, whatever. Um, I was in a way, I had, I was in no capacity to retaliate against my sister. Uh, but over the course of the years during MK Ultra, she was evil enough to remind me of the stuff that she had done to me. Uh, I was, I, 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 I was very much decided then. Uh, at this age two and three months that I am going to do something to her. However, that I would go and push somebody from behind something like this is was always I considered as totally, totally unacceptable. Uh, and for me to do something like this to her, uh, I would have to physically overpower her, which was completely out of my reach. Uh, and the second thing, it was impossible thing for me to do because this was my sister. That, despite everything, I loved her more than anything in this world. Basically, um, I hated her during MK Ultra because she was evil as hell. Uh, she would. This isn't teasing. This is bullshit. Uh, suggest my parents to. They would bully and would suggest me, hey. You know, we should stop with this MK Ultra stuff, with this torture. Uh, we had decided we would stop, and then she would come and she would start to insist, no, uh, you don't stop uh, because uh, you don't stop doing this because You don't stop doing this kind of stuff because uh, he promised that he would hurt me and even kill me. So, right, you promised me that you will do this because I have done that stuff to you. And she reminded me and I would be like, what? Like, why? And she would remind me, but you don't you remember what I did to you and so on and so forth. So this is basically how she was making me in a way mentally ill, literally, really, really knew exactly with the parents exactly exactly what they were doing it's not very nice um so this is basically what we are talking about now let's go back and let's continue with this stuff on it was prosila was it prosila then the pretty and a trade in a boris means of one person in the book's form um it was actually worse uh, i remind reminded my mother of something even more disgusting my sister did during MK Ultra. Um, she also went on during MK Ultra and demanded from my parents. It did not stop this shit. Her shit did not stop at age two, three, four. She repeated, repeated, repeated for me to have ability to even recall that when I finished the grammar school, uh, I recall that she demanded, again, they continue to play with my parents with this stuff, with this issue, uh, to continue to, uh, <clears throat> to enforce MKUltra violence against me because the truth would come out about what she did to me and so on and so forth. So uh, she did a lot of psychological harm with her game. Here, uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to play this audio one more time. I don't think there is anything else. Uh, I, I asked my mom who was the one who had fallen down from the scarp. Again, I asked her who pushed whom. She says nobody pushed anybody. It was Biserka who fell down. <laughs> you see. So... Yes.
Ti si, ti si, ti tebe, ti si v posesti demonov, hudiča, po kaj ga si ti. Ti bom jaz povedal, ko ga je. As my mother goes on to assure me that nobody pushed anybody, that it was only my sister Bisarka who had fallen down, I told my mother, you know, you are under complete possession of the demons. You, you, are in, you are completely possessed with the demons. Lasnik tebe demon, hudi satan. Prav. Če se ti zmišljuješ nekaj, ne bo ti so res. Hudič v njegovi lasti si ti. She goes on and she says... Otrok je padl, ti se boš pa zdaj delal, da ti padl, ne? She goes on to says... She goes on to says now... She has fallen down and now you're going to be the one who's going to pretend that you have fallen down. Uh, wow. Uh, that is interesting because I tell you what, Nurse Janko, psychiatrist Peter Kac, police investigators brought me under the balcony of our house and have demanded from me, in fact, to even video record the size of the balcony to make a claim that it was as high as the balcony that I have fallen down. It was my sister, truly my sister, who pushed me down. And the thing about it is that she pushed me without absolutely any reason. Uh, there is a possibility that sister have fallen down. I am not going to say that there is no possibility that sister did not fell down from the garage. However, I am going to repeat the fact to you. What I stated to you have happened to me at age two years of age and probably three months. Uh, I was not around when my sister was three years old. Yes, I was not around when my sister was three years old. I have demonstrated advanced, superior memory about what the garage looked like, including the spacing between the garage and between the scarp, uh, for which also they refer to as that I was lucky that I didn't fell in there and this and that. Uh, and exactly how it looked like, exactly the whole thing, so um, how, the garage, how the garage was connected to the house and so on. So I don't know who the fuck is lying. I remember that I spent three months fucking around with the stuff around my head that was rather ridiculous. The kids were laughing. Uh, it stank too. Uh, so I don't know how the hell this shit would be in my head. Uh, there is a possibility that my sister have fallen down, uh, but de facto, I did not push her. I haven't seen her falling down. And a fact of the matter is that she did push me down, not only push me down, but was trying to make, took pride in it, actually, with the parents, making me mentally ill, actually making me sick out of pushing me down from this garage okay so this is the stuff you don't do and especially you don't tell once something like this takes place your child that it never happened in fact that it was his sister or brother that this have happened to. that fucking sucks now i'm actually thinking about something else because she was apparently they say that it happened to her when she was three years of age. It has a good connection that it was really done deliberately to me to, if I would somehow survive without any kind of consequences, it could be used actually that with her school, it could be proved that she had this kind of damage to even counter my claim, which is even like closer to assassination attempt than anything else. If I would suffer some kind of brain damage, if not killed already, um, it's I would be out, 
And the statement I have made right now without a superior memory, which I demonstrate about exactly how it happened, uh, where it happened, how it all was, uh, somebody could say, hey, you are a paranoid schizophrenic, just as they have labeled me in 2013. So thank you very much for watching this video. What I'm going to do is I am going to play you one more time this audio. That's basically exactly how you kill the person like this. Uh, six months after we had the conversation with my mama in 2012 about who fell down, was it sister or myself, is when they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital, as I stated. And it was based on what they believed would be audio, video recording they could use for, my, for me saying something like depicting me like he's not even fucking sure what he's saying and so on and so forth. Yeah, that's the way it was. The information they teach me on what to say exactly. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch demanded from me to state. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch demanded from me to state H3. H3. Six months up to one year, the garage down. Those are his instructions that basically pretty much matched. Uh, uh, he did not match this with the death of my grandfather because he would give me idea during MK Ultra, more or less. If I would go anything according to his brainwash, according to his instructions, I would fuck myself. I would eventually even temper. I would temper the evidence by basically stepping straight into the shoes of my sister. That's why it was so fucking important for me to investigate the issue that concerned whether it was closer to three years of age or two years of age. I can tell you that I couldn't do better than that because I remember that on the scarf, I started to play like it when I was one year, six months of age, and they would deter me from there. Um, then it was like one year and nine months of age. I was already much, much more agile. Uh, and I am telling you that the stuff that happened probably is closer to the age two than to the age two and three months. My sister, it happened as they claim at age three. And that's exactly what psychiatrist Peter Kapsch anticipated, demanded, in fact, for me to say. I'm going to play you audio recording one more time. And basically, this is how this is done. Dealing with the criminals is not an easy thing to do. It's not about an exorcism. This is a police work, actually. To investigate police is not an easy thing to do. David, here, I'm far away. I said to my mom, please tell me one thing. How old was I when I fell off the scarf, please? Uh, pointing at the city at our house over there. You have never have fallen. You have never fallen down. It was your sister who had fallen down. You never have fallen down. Not you. I said, Bisarka, Bisarka, my sister's name is Bisarka. Bisarka, ye padla. She had fallen down. Bisarka fell down. Yes. And she, she goes like, like she's insulted. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three years of age she was. Three years of age she was. And now, contrary to the year 2012, as I stated, we had the conversation with mother. I asked her, who pushed whom? She says, nobody. She says, nobody.
nišče igra. Pisarka mene, kako če se mi v globu da bom za tolko? Uh, she said, nobody, and I said to her, to my mama said, how the hell was it nobody when I promised my sister I'm going to kill her? Ona je po vas prosila, vas je prosila, da me pretepajte na prej, da na bolesnica vam prosila. While at the same time she continued over the course of the years to ask you, beg you, to continue with MK Ultra beating terror so the truth would never come out. I repeat my mother question, who have fallen down from the scarp? Who pushed whom? And she goes and she says, again she repeats to me, Biserka. Nobody, she says, nobody pushed anybody. Ti si, ti si, ti si tebe, ti si v posesti demonov, hudiča, proklet ga si ti. Ti bom jaz povedal, ko ga je. I, how can I say, I, it's a blatant lie my mother had produced and she doesn't stop there when I tell her that She's in a possession of the demons. Does not concern only this issue, but also all other issues. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to even discuss anything with a person like this that is trying to take credit uh, for something, in fact, that was even done to me. Lasnik tabe demon, hudis satan. Uh, she says, yeah, okay. I tell her, Satan is your owner, I tell her. And she says, yeah, but because you are making it up, it's not going to be the truth, she says. Mm-hmm. Uh, you fucking liar, you. Uh, the child, uh, that child have fallen down uh, and now you are going to pretend it was you basically so there you have it dve let pa tri mesta sem bil star fotor je pa garažo podaro skril je janžekovič je tiskam je pregledal i told my mom i was two years and three months i was of age Two years and three months I was old, and it was Jan Zhekovic, uh, a physician, Jan Zhekovic, uh, pediatrist physician Jan Zhekovic, who examined me. This is also the doctor, the physician, who have collaborated with Slovenian police, with my family, with my mother, uh, once I departed to United States of America to have entire medical record in respect to this very issue removed. I don't know how they have done this, uh, but this is the stuff that should be written inside of the medical record. If this stuff is somehow not written in the medical record, it only goes to demonstrate uh, the two things, the two possibilities. Now, number one, either exactly what I stated, they used one to falsificate a brand new record with his own writing, since he was my physician. Uh, of course, there was also other physicians in the city of the Novo Mesto, which police doesn't have a problem, difficulty to get a hold of, that's one thing. And, or the second thing, uh, if this stuff was not even written inside of the medical record, now that clearly points only in one direction, and that's a 100% assassination attempt, as hardcore assassination attempt as it gets. Jan Zhekovic is the one who was 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 the one Si sem ti povedal, da si odhodiča na vesta. Uh, Jan Žekovič uh, truly was, based on my memory, Jan Žekovič, uh, physician Jan Žekovič was the one who uh, 
who stated to my father after this accident had taken place, he was the one who advised father to get this, to get rid of this garage. That's because of the MK Ultra case that went on. They were because of this accident, because it was a, such a bad accident, uh, because things are happening like this. Uh, it, this case gained more and more publicity. Uh, he advised the father to just get rid of the garage. What that exactly means is that Jan Zekovic most likely already falsificated a file already back then, that he already went on to falsificate the file already back then. Uh, something he had done to change the medical file already there. That is the job of the police. I don't have any kind of overview. Uh, this is a stuff that I would have to take time, uh, go over the original file, look that, use even the police assistance to go see exactly if there anything can be done. As a matter of fact, if it's not written inside of the medical file, uh, basically see exactly the shortcut how he falsified that file. Uh, all the physicians were involved in, uh, <clears throat> let me be detailed about this issue. There is a physician here at the Tershka Gora toward a church of Mary Saint Nativity. I think through him, he presented absolutely every female physician to me in a region of the novel Mesto. Every physician, every doctor was involved in MK Ultra case. That's how big of a deal this was. For the police to get... No, I'm not saying that everybody was for the worse. Uh, I'm not saying that everybody was out there to make a damage or something like this. Uh, that's exactly not what I'm saying. Uh, I'm just saying that every physician was involved in this case to degree that eventually knew about existence of this case. Now, when it comes to how much these physicians were involved in it, it all depended. Uh, some built their careers, uh, like it was, let's say, my schoolmate that got into this. Uh, some even opened their private clinics and so on. It was all kinds of stuff that went on. And uh, for some others, like Jan Jekovic, uh, it was uh, uh, their faculties and uh, uh, jobs that opened afterwards, uh, like for his daughter, whom I, by the way, liked. Jan Zekovic didn't like me, but I liked his daughter anyway. So I don't know what his problem was, how things were, whatever. Uh, but basically, this is this is how things uh, this is how things were. Uh, Jan Zekovic, uh, I am very very certain. I know that police had uh, people that were involved in MK Ultra. They. <laughs> As far as you can go and interrogate one, not as a police officer, did so uh, in respect to this very incident in mm, what was nineteen ninety five or something like that. But when I think about that, Jan Zekovic already went on and pressured my father to get rid of the garage. Uh, when I was just four and a half years old, the garage disappeared. Something is telling me that it was also something else that disappeared. Uh, that's called a medical file that should be there. But this is basically the way it is. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. And what I'm going to do is with my pleasure i am going to play you this audio one more time and that's about it yeah and from here is when i went to the city and then i did a real job basically a real breakdown of how everything was and so on
like the way it's done. Basically, if you have a capacity to memorize the stuff like that, when you know, why not? Sure. Dave, Mickey, I'm far away. Koksem bil je star, ko je ko ko sem padu dali škarpe tam. Ti nih nih da padu, padla je biserka, ne ti. A biserka je padla, ne je. A. Tri leta je bila stara. Tri leta je bila stara, ne. Kdo je kladu poleni takrat? Nihče igra. Biserka mene, kako če se mi v blogu da bom za toliko. Ona je pa vas prosila, vas je prosila da me pretepajte naprej, da ne bo resnica vam, pa da se ne bo vzpomnil. Kdo je padel dole škare? Biserka. Kdo je koga porino? Nišče. Ti si, ti si, ti si tebe, ti si v posesti demonov, hudiča, proklep ga si ti. Prav, hvala Bogu. Da bom jaz povedal, ko ga je. Lasnik tebe je demon, hudič, satan. Prav. Če se ti zmišljuješ nekaj, ne bo ti so res. Hudič, v njegovi lasti si ti. Ne se daš ni odsudič, v nas bo trok je padel, ti se boš pa zdaj delal, da si padel, ne? Pa kaj se... Dve let pa tri mesta sem bil star fatri, pa garažo podrl, skril jo je. Jan Žekovič je tis, ki me je pregledal. Sem pa te ni pozdravil. Jan Žekovič je bil tis, ki je fatru povedal, ne, jo skrije hitro, garažo in vse skrb. Se sem ti povedal, da si od hudiča nevesta. Basically, That's all there is to it. If you can do something like this, yeah, then you can do it. If you cannot do something like that, don't do it. You gotta be good to do the stuff like this. You gotta be good enough to grab for the throat, state prosecutor, police, entire police, entire Slovenian police. I'm so disappointed to say that nothing comes, nothing came out of my mom. Nothing comes out of my mom's advice. I hope that she's going to do better for her own good at official hearing. That's all it is, for her own good. I don't wish her bad. I don't wish bad to my sister. Uh, but they are going to have to testify the truth. They will have to tell the truth. What we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to take this here. It is, is very important stuff. Uh, I am even going to go online and get the time done. So that's not going to be something like it was and it was not or whatever it was. There you go. And we're going to pop that stuff one more time right at the top. If you can do something like this, you can do it. If you can't, don't. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.